Hello, colors. Welcome back to Viva Barca. Welcome to another interesting episode where we are going to be discussing on some interesting updates. We start with Neymar. As Neymar has reportedly told PSG, he wants to leave amid Barcelona links. We are going to be discussing on that as we progress. Secondly, talking about Giovanni Lo Celso, as Barcelona are eyeing the Tottenham midfielder if they fail to sign Bernardo Silva. We are also going to be discussing about that report. So as we get right into the full stories, please do ensure to subscribe, turn on the post bell notification to always stay notified whenever I post a new video. Consider liking the video and please watch it right up to the very end. The possibility of Neymar and Barcelona reuniting this summer has once again been raised this summer. After the Brazilian left for PSG back in 2017, links tying him back to the club have continued to persist almost every transfer window and they have read their head once again now. According to L'Equipe, Neymar has informed PSG of his desire to leave the Parisian club. After injuries plagued his career in Paris, with managerial changes constantly endangering the instability, Neymar's willingness to turn over a new leaf hardly comes as a surprise. However, the biggest reason behind his incentive to leave is Barcelona's increasing interest in the player. It has already been reported that Neymar would love to return to Barcelona this summer, the club where he achieved several accolades and established himself as one of Europe's most fearsome talents. Even the idea that the former wonder kid of Santos FC might be open to taking a pay reduction in exchange for a return to his old club has been floated. Although Neymar left behind a trial of ecstatic memories in Catalonia, Barcelona faces an internal dilemma over the, you know, the rehiring of the Brazilian sensation. Juan Laporta is apparently eager to make advancements for the player but Xavi is currently on the fence. Xavi um, is rumored to be against the move owing to worries that his presence would create disruptions in the dressing room and a great deal of off-field tension. However, Barcelona has also totally ruled out the possibility of Neymar returning during the current transfer window despite Xavi's reluctance and the ball is in Barca's court now. With Neymar apparently quick to jump the gun and request a departure, it appears the Blaugrana board may inevitably bite the bullet if their finances comply. Of course, they should do that. I think Neymar's links make sense. It really makes sense, especially when we know that players like Bernardo Silva will not surely be a Barca player this season after you know, Barca's first offer for the player was ignored and knocked out by Manchester City. And I think Barcelona trying to make a big signing this summer, at least a big signing before the summer comes to an end, will be something great. Because at the end of the day, if we don't sign any of these big names that we have been mentioning, the Cancelos, the Bernardo or the Neymar, then I think it's just a waste. I think the summer window, I will consider it, you know, a, a disappointment. Um, so, from the look of things, Barca are strongly linked with Neymar. They really want Neymar back. Laporta and his administration really want Neymar back at his old stomping ground. And I still don't see it necessary why Xavi will be thinking that Neymar's coming will disrupt the dressing room. I don't think Neymar is that type of player that will come in and disrupt the dressing room. Neymar understands what Barca is. He knows Barca very well. He has been here for four years. And I definitely think that his coming will be something great. It will be something great. So I don't see a reason why Xavi should be opposed to that. Because I think his majority within the Barca camp are of the idea of Neymar's coming, then why should it be a problem? Because honestly, had it been, okay, we brought Bernardo Silva, I think maybe the money was not there again for Neymar, so we could have said, all right, the Neymar deal is off. But right now, we have not even signed any of those players that we have been showing strong interest in. We haven't. So if Neymar can present himself, even if it's a possible loan deal, it's okay. But the thing is, Neymar should at least come back if the need is there or if the means is there for him to come. 
majority of the Barca faithfuls are of the idea that he should come and let's see what he's got for his second spell as a Barca player. Um, this is not the first time we have been talking about the Neymar links. Neymar has been linked multiple times, multiple times since he left PSG for 2017. Uh, he lost Barca from all indications. We quite remember he left for the staggering amount of 222 million dollars, um, euros, sorry. And many people were shocked and disappointed at why he left because that was a release clause that PSG just paid and he accepted for a move. He accepted to leave. And many people speculated that maybe it's because he wanted to leave Messi shadow and so on and so forth. Since Neymar joined PSG, to be honest, he has never really stand on his feet. It has not been well. He has been frustrated. He feels like he's in his worst moment of his footballing career. And I think there's there's that sense of regret why he left Barcelona in the first place. Of course, what he was taking at PSG was far and what Barca can give him. That's the honest truth. And if he is returning to Barca again this summer, he is. I think he should know more than anyone that he has to take a salary cut in order to ensure that he's coming to Barca or his dream of coming becomes successful. So let's see how the coming weeks will look like. Then on to the next story of discussion. As the new season draws nearer and nearer, Barcelona's work in the summer transfer window continues. With the departure of Ousmane Dembele to Paris Saint-Germain looking imminent, the Catalans are in search of solutions that can bolster the attack, adding dynamism and creativity. Their latest exploits have been primarily revolving around a certain Manchester City star, but bringing him in is not going to be easy at all. Why the Portuguese midfielder appears to be keen on a move to Spain, Man City are in no rush to let him go, and they are adamant of seeking a considerable sum for his services. Barca, operating on the shoestring budget that they have unfortunately become well acquainted with, seem to be moving further and further away from Bernardo Silva. Depending on upcoming departures such as Dembele's and Frankie's yes, imminent move to Saudi Arabia, the Catalans may be able to find funds and make a push for Silva. However, the Dembele situation continues to confuse with his move to PSG suspiciously held up. If that still fails, the Catalans are reportedly looking at Tottenham Hotspur midfielder Giovanni Lo Celso, according to Javi Miguel. The Argentina man is a dynamic midfielder who can also put in a shift on the right flank if needed. His ability to receive the ball, make quick and sharp turns before progressing it could add another layer to Chavis' setup. So guys, with that, we have come to an end of this episode. Thanks a lot for watching. Until next time, bye-bye.